it's Missy. Welcome back. Today's tutorial is inspired by Alex Haircraft. She is a hair account that I love to follow on Instagram, so I'll be sure to link to her Instagram down in the description box. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below, and if you want to see how to recreate this look, then just keep watching. With my part on the right side, I'm going to divide out the two sections of hair for the braids and then clip this hair out of the way. Now I'm going to divide out a small section on the right side from the part line down to my right ear and clip away the forward hair. Now I'm going to divide out a section of hair at my crown and clip this out of the way as well. And then with the bottom section of hair, I'm going to combine it all together and wrap it with an elastic band. But on the last wrap, I'm only going to pull the hair halfway through to create a loop. Now I'm going to take sections of the loop bring them up to my head and pin them in place with bobby pins. Then I'm just going to take the ends left sticking out and tuck them into the hairband to form the bottom portion of the bun. Now I'm going to let down the hair at the crown and gently back comb the hair to create some volume. Then I'm going to smooth it over the bun, twist it together and pin it above the bun with bobby pins. Now I'm going to let down the front section of hair and divide out a section for the Dutch fishtail braid and clip the forward hair out of the way. Then I'm going to pick up a section near the part line for the braid and divide it into three sections, beginning a Dutch braid by crossing the right strand under the middle and then crossing the left strand under the middle. Now I'm going to combine the middle and right strand together, take a small section from the right side and cross it under to the left. Then I'm going to pick up a new section of hair and cross it under and into the left strand. Then I'm going to take a small section from the left strand, cross it under to the right, pick up a new section of hair and cross it under to the right strand. And I'm just going to repeat those steps, crossing small sections from one side under to the opposite side while adding in new sections until the braid reaches my temple. Now I'm going to stop adding in new sections and just braid the rest of the section to the bottom in a regular fishtail braid and then slide a bobby pin over the bottom. Now I'm going to pick up a small piece near the part line for the front rope braid and divide it into two pieces and I'm going to start by crossing the left strand over the right strand. Then I'm going to add a new section of hair into each side, twist them towards my face and cross the left strand over the right strand again. And I'm just going to repeat those steps until I've brought in the rest of the hair from this section and then continue to twist the two sections over each other until it reaches the bottom and then just slide a bobby pin over the end. Now I'm going to let down the hair clipped away on the right side, drape it over the bun and pin it in place with a bobby pin. Then I'm going to go back over the fishtail braid, pulling on the edges to make the braid a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to drape the braid over the bun and pin it in place with bobby pins. Now I'm going to take the rope braid and pin it next to the bun on the left side. Now I'm going to take the hair underneath the braids and just pin this next to the bun. Now with the ends from the crown section, I'm just going to twist these upwards over the top of the bun and pin it in place. Then I'm going to take the ends that are left sticking out and just pin them in random places around the bun to finish the style. 